the T and the rest of us get ready for an unprecedented shutdown of the Orange Line, the I-Team dug into a bit of Boston history. This is very cool. Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka found the Orange Line was actually shut down before. It was the spring of 1987. At that time, the Orange Line was an elevated train that ran above ground in Boston. The team moved the system to an underground subway and shut it down for several days to make the transition. Here's what happened. As you can see from these Sky I-4 pictures, the morning commute along the Orange Line went very smoothly. WBZ reporter Shelby Scott was there for what most thought would be a tough morning commute. I thought it was very well organized. We were all amazed. But for some, it was smooth sailing. With Boston police at nearly every corner moving the traffic. And this shutdown only affected the Boston section of the Orange Line, from Forest Hills to downtown. Under the old Orange Line, structure at Eggleston Station, passengers waited a little apprehensively for the shuttle buses. WBZ Sarah Ann Shaw also took to the streets, traveling with commuters. It was about a half hour ride from Jamaica Plain to downtown crossing. Meantime, work was being done on the tracks. We would be moving the old tracks over to the new tracks on the southwest corridor. At the time, the T said the new underground system would be more reliable and cleaner. As for navigating the inconvenience, folks we talked to said it wasn't that bad. Very good. Excellent. Very good service. They were very good. Now I want to find out how I get home. I'm a little later than normal. I usually get here around 8 or 5 past, and I'm about 10, 15 minutes late. It was a very comfortable ride. They had to be congratulated. Yes, they are. Very well run. Riders here hoping the same will be true for them on Monday morning. Boston police say they will have officers out moving the traffic. We should point out again that this shutdown affects all of the Orange Line from Forest Hills to Malden. Managing that commute could be a little more challenging this time. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.